So here's my code for it. I have my contact form, which sends to my sendmail.php with the method posts, so uh, I do not expose the, uh, the input fields in the URL. And then I have a full name text field, and I have an email text field, and then I have a text area which holds the message. And of course I need to have a submit button to send the message. Let's see how it looks like right now. So I can type in my name and my email address and then a message. And the send mail PHP only displays right now what I have sent. So what I want to do now is to, in this PHP, instead of writing this R, I want to send an email. To send an email in PHP, we use the function mail. So mail needs some parameters. The first parameter is where to send this mail to. So I can write in my email address And the subject would be mail from my website. And the message would be what I typed in the message field. So I'll just put this in. And then I can add some parameters. I will do that later, but for the moment, I will just stick to the basic setup. And I will save this. So let's see how it works. I'll type in my name and an email address and this my message. Click send and right now we don't display anything. But the message should have been sent. The mail should have been sent. Let's go and have a look at the Gmail account. There we have it. This is my message. And it's sent for us from somebody called Inspiranza. So we need to change this, uh, the send from, and uh, perhaps we also should make a different subject because I want to know who sent this message. So I'll go back to my send mail here. And uh, the first thing I will do is to, um, to mix in uh, who sent this. So I will, uh, instead of from my website, I will uh, mix in the full name. So now I know who sent this mail. I think I will just clean this up a little bit. I will make a variable instead of the string in here. So I will cut this and make a variable called mail2 up here. And I will make a subject variable as well. So it looks more clean and nice. And then I would like to add um, the reply to and the from um, email address. And in order to do that, I need to add a header for my mail. And header is the fourth parameter, as we can see here. The fourth parameter contains of st uh, it's a string with addi additional headers. And Additional headers are made like this. We make a variable called headers. You can call it whatever you like, but I call it headers. And this string uh, from will show up in my email program. So in in the from column, I will see the full name of who sent this mail. And then I will add the email to the from column and to separate the, uh, the lines in the in the header I need to use the return and new line because this is a string and then I will add to this header I will add a reply to so when I hit reply in my mail program it will automatically show this email address that sent uh, an email to me so I will again use 
return a new line and then I will add this headers variable as a fourth parameter. Let's see how it looks. Go to my contact form, type in my name, my email address, the message is clear and send this message. Right now I don't display any message or anything uh, in response to the user, but I will do that in a moment. Let's go and have a look here in the inbox. Now I can see that a guy called Nils Hansen sent me an email and I can see here in the subject that the name of the guy has been mixed in in the subject and when I go here I can see the message is clear and when I hit reply uh, I reply to the correct address and down here I can see it's set up as Nils Hansen wrote and this and that. So now I'm, uh, I'm ready to fine tune my, um, my mail program or my, my contact form. I would like to make it possible to send HTML content in my, in my mail. In order to do that, I need to add a new header, um, a new line that contains some info about the encoding. And the lines I need are those. I'll just copy in from another mail and then I will add this one. So my headers variable begins here. It says, what kind of mine version is this? This is 1.0. It's like when we specify in the top of the HTML page that this is doc type HTML, this is HTML5 and all that stuff. We use the concept type just like we do uh, when we uh, had this meta um, in our HTML so we can uh, have uh, different character sets and this is the character says ISO 8859 uh, 1. So now it's possible for us to, uh, to send HTML emails. So let's have a look at how it works. I'll go to my contact form again and instead of this message I will write um, h1 hey you and paragraph with a get down from your and the strong high strong end as we can see here. So this should be valid HTML. I will try and send this and see what happens in my main program. So now it's ready and I can see here uh, that uh, I have an H1. Hey you and uh, get down from your high horse and high is strong. So uh, it seems like I'm getting uh, HTML in my main program now. And the last thing I will do is to add a message to uh, to whoever sent it that um, that it has been received. And in order to do that, I can make a variable of this return value, which comes from the the mail function. If it's uh, if it's a success, I will get the value true. If it's not a success, I will get the value false. So I can make a value called success and then I can ask if success then echo you send mail thanks else echo something went wrong so we can go have a look let's 
let's try this one again use anime thanks so it worked so what we need to do when we send mails is of course to have a contact form or some kind of form where we can send some some data and these are the data I sent and in my receiver I receive this um, these three um, input fields and then I specify some variables the mail to who's, go who's going to, to receive this mail then I have my variable for the subject then I specify some headers these two so I can make HTML uh, mails and these two so I can show in my mail program who sent this mail to me and when I hit reply it will go to the email address who sent an email to me